cutting in her visor and I'm bringing it around just about to the, where the front of her ear is. And I do have an angle on my shear because I want it tighter right down by her eye, but a little bit of a bevel so that she can still see, but doesn't look scared or like she got smacked in the forehead with a brick. Hey, look at me. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get that visor set and then I will comb a small section of hair out and I will build on that and cut anything that's sticking out past it. And then I'll bring another section. Same thing. Only as I'm getting closer to the ear, I'm gonna scissor right down. Stay on the table, please. Right down over the top of the ear. And I'm gonna bring another section. So I'm starting from one side of the ear, up and around. Come here. Shh. Going right down over the ear, so from ear to ear. And I just keep combing layers up and going off of what I've already trimmed. And this is a technique that I also use on other curly coated dogs that get a round head, like a Bichon or a Bichon mix or a doodle or anything like that. You can still use this particular technique to set in the top of the head. Because on those guys, you definitely don't want a separation in front of the, or above the ears.